Hey everybody. Hi. Welcome back. Uh, so we're just Lindsay and Jacob. Lindsay. And Jacob. Um, we are a couple who are full-time resellers. We sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Um, we dabble in a few other avenues as well. Uh, but those are our, our main sources of income and what we enjoy doing the most. Um, we're coming to you today for a What Sold video for November 29th through December... Something. Something. It's in the title, so just look at that. Um, we'll do better next time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we are going to be discussing our eBay sales today in this video. Um, we had a huge week. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our better weeks of all time. Q4. Q4. Christmas! Can't, can't beat it. Actually, it is though. We're in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and it is negative seven with the wind chill right now, and we have about five inches of snow. So, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. I hope everybody's staying warm because we are most certainly not. Sucks. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, uh, Q4 has been big. Um, we are going to talk about our eBay sales today. Um, really good week on eBay. Honestly, it's our best platform by far. So, um, really good sales. We're excited to share them with you. Um, we've got our computer down here so we can reference our, our the information. So if we're looking down, that's why. So um, cool. And if you like this, we also, like you said, sell on Poshmark and Mercari. So we will do a follow-up video on what is sold on Poshmark and Mercari because it is entirely too much information to put into one video, which we learned the hard way the last time with our last video. Cool. So you want to kick us off? Uh, sure. Uh, not a super exciting sale, but a sale nonetheless. Um, some Acorn men's, technically they're unisex, but we sold them as men's slippers because they were pretty big for a women's uh, shoe size. Um, just some really comfortable. I think this is the second pair we sold. Yep. These ones were like new, um, but slipper season is upon us fast and furiously. Um, and ended up selling a used pair of slippers for twenty nine ninety nine on eBay. Yeah. The other pair we sold was new. Yeah, the pair we sold was brand new with the, the cardboard wrapping. Yeah. yeah, so we got more for that one. Um, so next up, um, a lot of where we get our items from is Goodwill, uh, and sometimes we get lucky and we get new with tag mm -hmm. stuff there. Mm -hmm. um, that's the best because our local uh, shoe retailers that sell new shoes don't really have many shoes right it now. Is so pretty dry. So we get more new shoes at the used thrift store yep. than we get at the new retail, retail store. So it doesn't make sense, but we're not complaining. So We are also trying to pivot like all the rest of the resellers in the world who have relied mostly on new shoes. So, so uh, we sold this pair uh, for $80, and I believe that was free shipping. Um, these Nike Free 5.0 TR Fit 5 so prints. Um, Oftentimes when we see a shoe, even if it doesn't have good numbers, and I think this one didn't have great numbers, if it's pretty enough, we'll buy it because it doesn't matter. We take, we try to take really good photos of the items, let the item shine. You're, she does most of the shoe pictures, and she's so good at them. She's so consistent, and she just makes them really pop. Um, and so this definitely is one of those types of shoes that it's like it's a no-brainer to pick up. It's new. It's and I think this sold international to Canada, too. If I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. So that was kind of fun. I don't remember. I can clarify. Just kind of fun. Right here. Yeah. Uh, next up were some Merrill Siren Sport uh, kind of hiking shoes. Uh, we sold them for $30, which... Paid shipping. Paid shipping. Yep. Uh, we do a lot of paid shipping on eBay. Um, that being said, when we sell things on other platforms, it's kind of a variation. But we do a lot of paid shipping on eBay, um, mostly because we price at a lower price point if we can help it. Um, and then we don't have to accept offers on eBay is the big reason why. Right, right. And on other platforms, they send them whether we want them or not. So uh, this was an outright sale of thirty dollars on a Merrill Siren Sport Three hiking shoe of some sort. Um, just a pretty good bread and butter. Nothing exciting, but a good one nonetheless. Yeah, and Merrill's one of those outdoors brands that. Um, Everyone's probably seen at some point in their lives, but not really recognize that they're looking at a Merrill shoe. Um, you know, I won't say they make super high-end gear, but for anybody who uh, just wants a really good, comfortable, outdoors hiking type shoe, this is a good option for you. So, cool. So next up is a probably a better outdoors brand than Merrill, um, and that is the Solomon X Ultra 3 Mid, um, and they have Gore-Tex, and these are their hiking boots, and we got $75 plus shipping on these, um, so this was a great sale. It's all pretty darn fast, too, but we kind of knew they days. would. Um, so, outside of Solomon being a great brand, um, Gore-Tex is something you always want to be looking out for. So, Gore-Tex is a, I believe it's a material that gets added to 
the materials that they're using, and it's almost like ripstop fabric. Yeah, it, makes it, um, it makes it really durable. Um, and whenever we see it, we almost always pick it up because always look at it. People are looking for it. It's Depending a on huge the condition, keyword. Pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, next, <laughs> we used to live in North Carolina, so we have a bit of a love hate relationship. Our time out there was not especially great, but I think the great state of North Carolina has a lot to offer. We were just in Podunk, North Carolina, the middle of nowhere. Tobacco fields. Right. I worked on the NC State campus, and so when I saw this Adidas New Tags NC State Wolfpack football jersey, I was a little excited about it because it brought me back to a really enjoyable time when I was there, at least. Yeah. Um, so we ended up picking it up, I think, for $15 at TJ Maxx, had a, a discount on top of that, and then ended up selling it for $55 free ship on eBay. So, so. Uh, Shout out Campbell Camels. Roll well, humps. <laughs> Okay, up next um, are these, uh, this is another one of those super pretty pairs that you just, you have to pick it up because someone's going to look at it and they're not going to care what it is. I think we had like it. five people comment on how cool this shoe looked and how if it was in their size they yeah. would have bought it. So Yep, so these are uh, Under Armour Speedform XC trail running shoes. Um, we ended up getting, uh, I sent an offer, we had them at $30 I believe, um, sent an offer mm -hmm. of twenty five fifty plus shipping so we got about you know, upper 30s to $40 for them total. Um, just On a shoe that was probably seven ninety nine. Yeah, not that great of a shoe, but super pretty. Yeah, and super clean. We've come to really appreciate the clean shoes a lot more, too. Um, so if you have to put less sweat equity into the shoe, it makes it more worthwhile to pick up, even if you don't make quite as much profit because you don't have to work on it quite so long. It's can, kind of the mindset we have. We can turn point. through them faster yeah. and it gets more up and more listed and we aren't so tired at the end of the day. So, mm -hmm. uh, Next up is a pair of Bionic Bella 2 uh, bow sandals. Um, really pretty like cherry red patent kind of bow on the front. Um, Bionic is one of those brands that's a nice comfort brand, has really nice insoles on their sneakers and like closed toe shoes. I have a couple pairs of Bionics myself. They're just very, very comfortable. Um, and these were a pair of sandals that sold for us for 27 plus shipping. Um, so that ended up almost getting us $40 after it was all said and done, which is pretty good for a pair of sandals that are used. In December. In December. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, November 30th, but you know. I need to do this one. Uh, big Harry Potter fan, <laughs> Deathly Hollows. Um, picked this up, our Goodwills in our local area do $1.99 for all media. Um, so any DVDs, including sets, um, are $1.99. And we picked up the complete eight film collection on Blu-ray for Harry Potter for $1.99 and ended up selling it for $39.99 free ship. So that was really fun for me. I'm yeah. a big old nerd. So Whenever you see a set or a collection or a full series, look it up. It can't hurt. And if it's not worth it, it's not worth it. And you spent all of five minutes on it and you recoup that time at the end of the day anyway. So it doesn't really make that much of a Friends. Worst case scenario, you're coming home with the full set of Harry Potter for yourself. That has also happened. So, no regrets. No guilt. Um, this next sale basically is the mark of our first uh, mm -hmm. items that we picked up on Black Friday. Mm -hmm. um, we went to a couple Plato's closets and picked up some of their stuff. We had a 20% off coupon that we had saved up from um, a loyalty point system, mm -hmm. basically. Um, and this is the first pair to sell, which kind of surprised us that this was the first one. No. Surprised me that this was the first one. Uh, she's no. a smarty cake, I guess. So, um, this is a Brooks Revel 3 run. Um, the Revel 3 on its own is a fine shoe. It's not one of their better selling models. Um, I think it's the, they're on they're on the Revel 4 now, so it is at least one of their newer. It's pretty new of that line of shoe. Um, um, so it's not like it's like outdated or anything, at least. But November 30th, ugly Christmas sweater. They're awesome looking. So cool. The blue with like the the snow on them, it's just, it's perfect. It it's was a timely. no brainer to pick up. No brainer. Um, I don't remember what we got in these. I can throw the, um, some of the costs up on the screen. Uh, uh, we bought them for twenty dollars with our twenty percent off coupon. Yeah, so, so. It, it pays to know what's good and what's not when you go to these stores because um, they're not going to always price things appropriately. Um, so. Yeah. You gotta take advantage while you can. Yeah. Because sometimes they do know their stuff and they will price them up. Case in point, our next shoe. This one? Mm hmm. Yeah. So we posted on Instagram, we sold some Yeezy 700s 
uh, that we also got at Plato's Closet. The and we were very excited about them and we legit checked them ourselves. Everything was good to go. We threw them up on eBay and they sold pretty darn Within quickly. Like two days. Yeah, for $250 outright. Um, we were stoked about it. Um, some things to know about eBay, even going back to those Brooks pair, we sold them at 100 free ship. Um, two things. One, athletic shoes for men's and women's shoes over $100 zero fees zero fees Clutch. you don't pay any money you don't pay Clutch. the you know 12.9 percent whatever it is um fees like you would on a shoe that was 99 dollars and 99 cents you would have that percentage fee right. on there you right. bump it up one cent right. no fees it's like 13 extra dollars for you so yeah. it's a no-brainer yeah. um so that's the first thing about ebay and selling shoes over a hundred dollars there secondly on new shoes over a hundred dollars mm -hmm. they go get authenticated for certain brands and on used mm -hmm. shoes it's over a hundred and fifty dollars mm -hmm. so these Yeezys being two hundred and fifty dollars we're gonna go and get authenticated and we knew that we were expecting it mm -hmm. we legit checked these shoes everything checked out for us and what we could see and we have Yeezys we've sold Yeezys we've sold Yeezys we get them from we the find Adidas, fake Yeezys a lot and we pass on them like we've we've seen our fair share we've done the due diligence like we were, we were confident that this was the shoe that we picked up was the right shoe, was accurate, was legitimate, which is why we bought it. Like we don't buy shoes that we that don't check our criteria. So we've had plenty of shoes pass the authentication before. Um, nothing new to us. This is the first pair that did not pass authentication. Typically, when a shoe doesn't pass authentication, it'll come back failed authentication. That's what I've seen from other people doing it online. We haven't had a pair fail yet. Um, the verbiage we got was unable to confirm authenticity. What, what that means, mean? we don't know. Um, to mean? us, it doesn't mean that the shoe was fake, but rather that they just couldn't put in the effort to figure out if they were real or not. We did, we thought they were real. So while we can't sell it again on eBay, they would be not okay with that. We are still gonna try and sell them on Mercari and Poshmark. We're probably gonna- Cause um, they're real. We're probably going to have Check Check, um, which is an app to, that authenticates shoes by taking pictures of them and sending it to them. We'll probably get that and um, have them Confirm. authenticated also Confirm. just for you know clarification. And we'll add that to the listing if we need to. So, um, But we still think they're real. Unable to confirm authenticity is dumb. That's all we have to say about that. So it's a bummer, but we're going to move on and still thrive from this. I mean, we've sold quite a bit and that one sale isn't going to make a break. Mm -hmm. how we move forward so uh next up we had sent an offer previously and it expired and so the gentleman reached back out to us sent another offer for a pair of nike react infinity run flying it running shoes um just a really good classic nike running shoe uh, sold it for forty dollars and fifty cents on offer and he paid for shipping so we ended up getting just short of sixty dollars for that shoe um next pair a little bit more unknown brand to probably the more male of the populace watching um, women love this brand. Um, this is Sorel, and uh, specifically this is the Joan of Arctic Knit 2 Boot. Um, this was new with tags. We got this while we were in Milwaukee, I believe. Um, and this sold on an offer for $102. I did, sent a 10% offer down from $120. Um, and they sold. We sat on them longer than I thought we would, but at the end of the day, it was still like six months, and then they were gone. So Yeah, I mean, they're not like the fur-lined ones, which do really, really well. We cannot keep them on our shelves long. Um, these were kind of a, a different pattern with bright colors. Um, so I'm not super surprised they didn't sell right away because we did pick them up in like the middle of summer so like it's not mm -hmm. that big of a deal um that being said they whoever bought them did get a steal for them because these shoes are these boots technically are like 200 dollars new so they're getting a really good deal at 100 dollars free shipping thankfully we only have to ship to wisconsin so it yep. was pretty pretty reasonable for us to ship um which is always a good thing so next up is another one of our plato's closet finds um from black friday uh, we had found a different Patagonia nano puffer jacket at our local Goodwill probably that same week, maybe the week before, um, and knew exactly when we saw this that it was going to be quick, easy money. Um, it is the Patagonia women's nano puff jacket. Um, it was in the, a silver kind of quilted pattern almost, um, sold it for $120, uh, I think, within a couple of days. Yeah, very quick. And the nano puffers are starting to sell out on Patagonia's website too, so don't be afraid to price yours up a bit. Um, comps looked like they were going for about ninety dollars, and I was like, I don't think you can get these very commonly, so I priced it Ours up to one twenty. Ours was also an extra large, a yeah. women's extra large, which 
they didn't have that size in that color on the Patagonia website as well. So that was part of the, the thought process there. On the same thread of jackets is this North Face Retro Nupsy um, 700 Goose Down Puffer Jacket. Um, it's styled in like their 70s style, but it is more of a modern jacket. Um, this. These are a bolo, huge bolo, um, $150 uh, plus shipping on this. So um, I think we got like three offers on great it money. Yep. before we got this sale come through and it sold for full asking price on eBay. So we held out on any offers because it was all within the first 24 hours of listing. And we probably could have taken them and made our money quickly, but we also didn't take one and ended up making our money just as quickly for more money. So that was one of them where we felt pretty firm on pricing because we knew we had something that everybody was looking for. Next up was a pair that we sourced from TJ Maxx, uh, which is not a place that we frequently use as a sourcing opportunity. I just happened to be shopping with my mom. We stopped in and ended up finding a pair of these G4 collection, uh, a men's collection Gallivanter leather waterproof golf shoes. Um, super high quality, like you could see them from a mile away and know that they were gonna be really, really nice. Um, we ended up picking them up. I think they were $80 regular price. We used a couple of our TJ Maxx rewards points. They ended up being, I think, 65 ish when it was all said and done. And we ended up uh, selling them on an offer for $160. And then uh, a bread and butter item, um, we get these a lot of the times at the bins, um, is this Carhartt Relaxed Fit Force. Um, so it's a little different than the normal Henleys. It has, you know, force written on the sleeve. Um, and it was a size 3XL. Big sizes should not scare you. They will almost always sell. Um, do your research, but big sizes are great, especially 3XL, 4XL. Bigger than that, and you're getting you're pushing a little bit, but you know, don't be afraid of the the more plus size clothing. And we got twenty dollars for this, nineteen ninety nine. Uh, next up is another one of our favorite brands to sell, which is the Hoka One One. Uh, this one was a Clifton Six in an extra wide width. Um, ended up getting seventy dollars plus shipping for them. Then next up is the Nike Air Monarch for the dad shoe, um, like walking on a cloud. Um, these sell, they, people wear them down till they're not usable anymore. Um, but if you get them and they're clean enough, pick them up, they will sell. We got 35 plus shipping on this pair. And they're hip and cool right now for the use, yeah. I, I think. I don't know. Hype. Uh, next up is another pair of Sorel boots, another Black Friday pickup. The, uh, these are the Sorel Lexi. Lexi is another one of those really, really popular styles. Um, we ended up picking up three of them on Black Friday. One is new with tags. This is the first to sell. So we sold them for $120 on eBay, and we listed them as an athletic shoe because technically they are, are kind of an athletic shoe. Um, so we get them fee-free on eBay. Don't pay fees if you don't have to. Um... Going back to the collections of DVDs and things like that, um, Lindsay found The Sopranos Season 6, Parts 1 and 2. Um, we lotted them together, sold them for $40, free shipping, and these went media mail, which is much less than going priority mail. Mm -hmm. Next up is an Enid Collins Vintage Bag. Um, this was pretty. It was really pretty, and again, one of those things you are at the Goodwill store, you see it from a mile away because it had a lot of beading and, and jewel tones on it, so you could see it pretty clearly from across the way so pretty nice print had a nice like wooden bottom and the condition was extraordinary this is from the 60s and it was flawless and we ended up selling it comps were all over the place but we picked it up for ten dollars and i was like there's no way we don't make money on this ended up selling it for one hundred dollars uh, another Goodwill bins find, um, this vintage Columbia um, radial sleeve jacket. The colors are great. Um, it pops more than the photo shows even. Um, and we got $50 free shipping for this on something that we probably paid $2 for. Uh, next up is a pair of Vibram Five Finger Shoes. Uh, we do pretty darn well with these. We actually just sold another pair yesterday or the day before that was new with tags. But this is the... 280,000th pair that we've seen and picked up every time we find them as long as they're structurally sound we pick them up um, love them these happen to be a men's size 9 and sold them for $35 free ship free ship because they're lightweight so they'll go first class first class uh, another bins find um, this one we sent an offer on we had it at 30 sold for $26.99 um, this Nike dry fit Therma gray um, the tags will sh tell you what the actual item is mm -hmm. there's usually a uh, materials tag and then under that a smaller tag and on there is going to be a six 
uh, letter or number code followed by a dash and then a three letter code. Type that into Google, you'll get the exact name of the item and then it will sell a lot faster. Your sell through is going to improve by using the actual name of the items. Mm -hmm. Next up is a pair of Doc Martens. We pick up as long as they're reasonably priced, which is the hard part where we are. Um, Doc Martens, just generic four eye D ring little work shoes because they are little. They were, I think we're a men's five, mm -hmm. men's five, um, which ends up making them a women's six, six and a half, which is a reasonable size for a women's shoe. Not quite as reasonable for men's. They did end up selling internationally. Um, so we had them at 36 after an offer and then sent them off for 47 plus change. Yeah, and that's the global shipping program that we use on eBay. Um, I'll talk about it in another video on how to get it set up and how to take advantage of it. Um, it's great. It's, it's been a really, great program. really clutch for us. Um, yeah, next up is uh, Keen Tunari CNX uh, cross training shoes. This goes into the bread and butter. It's a lot like Merrill, the brand Keen. Um, I'm sure you've seen them. They, they're better shoes in my opinion are their sandals. Um, they're very popular, like fisherman's type sandals. And uh, this went again on an offer for 27 plus shipping. Um, so we got close to $40 all in. And those took 24 hours to sell. Very fast. They're real quick. Same day sales are like my favorite. Um, next up is a pair from the bins. It is a pair of Saucony uh, Redeemer ISO 2 running shoes that did not have any insoles. Um, we will either decide to put insoles in or not, but either way, whatever we decide to do, we will put that in the title of the listing of the shoe that we're selling. So either no insoles, replacement insoles along those lines, um, if there is something that is not factory original. And in this case, it was one of them that we chose not to put insoles into. Um, sold it for 25 so not a ton, but when you get them from the bins, it's $1.19 for the pair of shoes, so it's, it's A-OK -okay in my book. Retail arbitrage here. We got this hat at Ross. Um, we don't usually pick up a lot of like their regular sporting goods hats, mm -hmm. uh, but something like this, with it being so floral, New York Yankees, it is a bigger size than the 7 and 7 eighths. Um, that's for a big head, but um, when it's cool pick it up you never know um and this one actually had yen on its tag mm -hmm. so i think it was a japanese release i'm not totally positive on that uh, but we sold that on an offer for 44.99 free shipping and it's the second one of that same hat we've already yeah sold. we got two of them we sold this first one real quick uh next was a pair from my personal collection um it is just a green bay packers women's thermal long sleeve shirt uh, the woman had sent us a message saying that this was her grandpa's favorite team so shout out to the packers and being america's actual team it's true. Um, another Black Friday sale. Um, this was an outstanding item. It was so beautiful. It felt nice. It was pristine. No flaws. Um, this was a coach collaboration with Cafe Facet. I don't know what that is. I actually don't think it's a collaboration. Whatever it is. I think it's the... Whatever it is, um, See, we don't know everything. this bucket bag, yeah, we, we know how to Google and we know when things are pretty. We know when things are pretty. Um, and this we got, uh, we sold for $200 outright very quickly. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We actually got an offer on it the same day. Yep. Uh, I would have kept it if it was more my style, but it, it doesn't fit me very well. But whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. I prefer the money. Yeah, I, I do like money. Uh, next up was a find from Plato's Closet that they probably should have saved for their Black Friday sale and did not. It is the men's Jordan 14 in the gym red, which is like the Toro colorway. Uh, mostly red shoe with the black and the white. Uh, these were only $25 at Plato's Closet. Again, should have saved them, should have priced them up. Really, really glad that they didn't because we ended up selling them for $200 on eBay. And so this is heading to the authenticator, so we're hoping it doesn't have another thing happen like the Yeezys did, but again, we try to legit check them ourselves. Um, you know, there's certain things that you can look at and look for that tell you one way or another if they're going to be real and or not, but we think it's legit, so we feel comfortable sending them out there. We'll know soon. <laughs> Next up, um, another pair that's a lot like Vion or another brand that's a lot like Vionic is Allegria. Um, Allegria, I don't know the proper pronunciation. I think I usually say Allegria. Um, this is the Lauren Slip On. Um, slip Ons are a great style. Um, they will almost always sell because they're easy to put on. You literally slip them on and then that's it. Um, people love them. It's a great style. We sold this pair for 40 plus shipping. Uh, next up is a pair that we find in Wisconsin a lot. Um, they're always a good pickup if they are not completely beat. And this pair was not. Put some leather conditioner on it and it brought them right back to life. It is a pair of women's Danner Pronghorn boots. 
Um, we ended up selling them for 80 free ship after picking them up, picking them up for $7.99. So quick, easy, good flip for us. And that's it. Um, that's all of the sales from last week on eBay. Um, we're going to do our Poshmark and Mercari um, in a couple days. We'll release that so you can get some more things, see what trends on different sites versus the other ones. Um, and that's that. So thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Stay tuned for our next release. Like I said, we do Poshmark and Mercari and we do just as much there most of the time as we do on eBay. So we'll have a, a lengthy list to go through once more, but hopefully you'll stick around and enjoy our content. So thanks for watching. Leave any feedback, and thank you. Bye! Bye.